but um, a Western medicine doctor is the last person that I would trust personally if I were diagnosed with cardiovascular disease, with dementia, with diabetes, with stroke. I miss one. You get the idea, right? And a lot of us feel that way. A lot of us are spending money out of pocket to go see doctors um, that have other kinds of letters after their name, right? That the medical credential doesn't mean that much to us when we're diagnosed with something that we know has something to do with lifestyle, like food, movement, exercise, sleep. Um, a lot of us get told by our Western medical doctor one thing and then we're like, all right, well, thanks for the prescription. <laughs> I'll go do some research on that because I don't know that I need these pills for sure. And I don't know that I want the symptoms caused by these pills. So thanks for the prescription and the 15 minutes you just spent with me. And just saying, there are a lot of doctors with really, really good hearts and they're mostly hogtied by this same system. But anyway, let me get back to the point. Doctors are not taught nutrition in medical school. So three years ago, Ocean Robbins is wondering, 